Hi everyone and welcome to Techie Review. Today I wanted to see if I could find another use for my 10 year old 2010 Mac Pro. Now what I wanted to do is see if I could install a VMware ESXi virtualization server and then create some virtual computers for little projects and little things I want to mess around with. So in this video we're going to install VMware ESXi and see if we can get it working. Now I'll leave the specs to my Mac Pro in the description below. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the first thing you need to do is download a copy of VMware ESXi from their website and create a bootable USB stick. Now I'll leave links to that in the description below. Once you've done that, you need to boot your Mac Pro and you'll get the screen that you're seeing now. And this is gonna start loading the installer for you. Now once all that's loaded, we're gonna get a quick welcome screen and we press enter to continue. And then we agree to the end user license and continue. And then it's just gonna start scanning your hardware to make sure it's compatible. So the next part is we wanna select the hard disk we're gonna to use to install all our files too. Now I've got a couple of hard drives and I've also got an NVMe SSD so that is where I'm going to install everything for this project. So here we want to create our root password. Now this is going to be used to log in once everything's been installed. Once the installation is complete, we need to restart the server, so then we can go ahead and start creating some virtual machines. Now that everything's rebooted, we need to note down this IP address, as this is how we're gonna connect from our Windows PC and actually create and administer this server. Okay, so we've jumped onto our Windows PC and gone to Chrome and we're going to type in the IP address. We're meeted with this screen. If we click on advanced and proceed, we're then taken to the login screen of our VMware EXI server. And if we type in the username as root and the password, which we created earlier in the video, we then can get into this console where we can then start to create some virtual machines, upload our ISOs and play around a little bit. So on this first screen here we can actually see the spec of the 2010 Mac Pro. So to create our first VM workstation if we click on the right, we can see VM workstations and there there is a wizard that will talk us through how to create our first VMware workstation. It's fairly easy and it's just a case of entering a little bit of information, selecting the OS we want to install and away we go. Stage four of this setup allows us to customize some of our settings even further, how many CPUs we want, memory, hard disk, and so on. Now, with limited 
resources on the actual server itself, I've kept things fairly low here. Once we're happy with what we've selected, we can click next. There's a quick overview and we can click finish. Now, before we can actually go and start our VM, we actually need to upload the ISO image of Windows 10. Now to upload your ISO image, you need to go to the data store you've created and then the data store browser. And from there, what you can do is actually browse your local machine for your ISO and then upload it. So I have got a Windows 10 folder here. I've also got a Linux folder and you can still see the ISO in there. But we're going to store the Windows 10 ISO here. And then we select upload. And then browse our PC or our local PC for the actual ISO image we need. And then upload. Now at the bottom here you can see the progress indicator showing you your ISO file uploading to your ESXi server. Once that's done we can then assign that ISO to your new virtual machine and start installing Windows. Once the ISO has been uploaded we just need to edit our virtual machine and tell it that the CD-ROM drive is now going to be this Windows 10 ISO. Next we want to power on and connect to our workstation or our virtual machine so we can start installing Windows. Now that Windows has finished installing, we've started and signed back in, we just need to install the VMware Guest Tools, which just gives you an updated graphics card driver and a few other things. Now this virtual machine isn't going to be particularly fast because I've only assigned 4 gig of RAM. My Mac Pro has only got 16 gig of RAM, so if you've got more in yours, you can certainly assign more resources to your virtual machine. Once this is done, you have a fully functioning virtual Windows 10 PC to do whatever you like with. Now, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you've got any questions, any comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time.